Sean right here with David Bay at the Lyric in Baltimore, Maryland. We just concluded the prejudging of the first ever Baltimore Pro Championships. Let's cut right to the chase. The men's bodybuilding just took place, and the favorite was Victor Martinez coming in. Did it remain that way throughout the prejudging to you? Yeah, he delivered. I mean, this was probably the best version of Victor I've seen in a long time. Maybe could have been just a tad, tad bit tighter in his back shots, but he was very full, very crisp in his front shots. Uh, the size was there. The, the discrepancy between the, the injured leg and his good leg, it, almost non-existent anymore. Victor was, he was money. Uh, his, his, his time over in Kuwait at Oxygen Gym um, looks like it paid off. Best Victor we've seen in a long time. I don't see anybody beating him. Yeah, and it's interesting because Victor started off in New York, then got on an airplane and flew down to South Africa, and now he's here, and that's been a, a kind of a stretch for Victor, and he's, now he's got to, if he potentially wins this show, hang on to get into that Olympia in September. Was he challenged here today? Yeah, it was a good lineup. You know, if we look at the top four, presumably, by the way they did the call-outs, uh, you had Akeem Williams, uh, Max Charles, and Michael Lockett. Now, granted, Akeem, Max, and Michael are not, you know, top six, top eight Olympia guys, so clearly he wasn't challenged. They're not top ten Olympia guys. Are. Have they? Have any of them placed the top no, ten? Okay. No, yeah, Just no, for the I'm, record. For the record. But I'm saying, so, no, he's not going to be challenged today like he is in another eight weeks, or even like he was um, in South Africa with good guys like Dexter Jackson and, and Lionel Baiaki and some of the other big names. Um, that being said, it's still a good first call out. Again, you have Michael Lockett, Akeem Williams, Max Charles, guys that are, are placing top five in almost all the shows they're entering. So Victor didn't just walk in and, and, and get an unchallenged win. And, you know, there's no guarantee that he is going to win. That's the way it looked, but he had to battle a little bit. So if you're Victor Martinez and you win here tonight, do you continue on and go to the Pro Bodybuilding Weekly Championships and try to win there and just rack up, um, you know, prize money? Um, Boy, that's a business decision that, that you know, Victor needs to make. Um, you know, as far as, you know, whether it's good for his body, I would think having a little bit of a break between now and the Olympia would probably serve him best. But when there's a paycheck on the line, um, you know, sometimes in the business of bodybuilding, you got to go after those. Absolutely. So it, it looks like on paper Victor's not that challenged. The competition is going to be for second through six, which is where the prize money is, and it can be a mixed bag of nuts because they did a very good job of moving the athletes around. Did. did you have a solid second or third guy? Because I didn't. Um, it looks like they had a four-person last call out, and Akeem Williams and Victor were the two in the center. So if, if you're going off of that, it looks like they had Akeem Williams in second place. Um, yeah, Max and Max and uh, Michael Lockett. I'll take Max Charles over Michael Lockett. Michael has some 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 crazy conditioning in some of his body parts. I think Max is a little bit more of a complete bodybuilder than uh, than Michael. So I would have Max in third place, Michael in fourth. Um, interesting enough was that the, the first call out was actually a six guy call out. You had Clarence Davis and Jeff Long in that first call out. A few eyebrows were raised. Um, they kept Clarence and uh, Jeff out there for the second call out. You added Freddie Smalls, Fedorov, and it looks like Fred Smalls moved his way up ahead of Jeff Long and Clarence. So rounding out your top five. So what do you make of the Jeff Long return? It's been a while since Jeff Long was on a pro bodybuilding stage and he's kind of like Jay Cutler Light. What did you make of his return? Uh, he's just lackluster in his conditioning. He said he had a kid and he only took eight weeks to prepare for this. So Looks like he took eight weeks to prepare for it. I mean, no, no disrespect. I mean, the guy's a professional bodybuilder. He's got a ton of muscle, great legs, and his conditioning isn't awful. It's not like you look at him and say he doesn't belong on a pro bodybuilding stage, but he's not the razor sharp Jeff that he needs to be. You know, he's, he's, he's not a Rammy, and he's, 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 he's not a Victor or, or even a Max. So if he's going to be looking at getting in that top three, top five spots even, he needs to be razor sharp. So, so where does that leave Fred Biggie Smalls? I mean, he's from Delaware. The guy I told him back in March to compete in this show, it was never on his radar. However, he found his way to South Africa, Vancouver, Toronto, Chicago, and now he winds up here. What do you make of his uh, competition? I thought he looked really good. Definitely a little bit better than in Vancouver. He's He was criticized in the past for his conditioning, which he's improved, but he seems to have lost some of that fullness. So I think Fred's in this transitional period where he's trying to find this balance between being as shredded as he needs to be and being as full as he needs to be. Now he looks like he's in a in fifth place here again. I had him in that second call out, move ahead of Clarence and Jeff and the other guys. Um, you know, don't don't see him in a top three or four spot. But again, he's got to find a balance between the fullness and the conditioning. And if he can get both of those on stage at the same time, he can be one of those top three guys right. or winning shows.
Charles. And speaking of fullness and condition, we had some pro bikini girls on the stage today. And uh, you know me, I'm not really good with picking that order, but uh, they all looked phenomenal to me. They came all the way from Russia, Australia, Las Vegas. I mean, it was a packed lineup, 16 girls. Yeah, it was a good lineup. Um, from the way they did the call-outs at the final three, looks like your winner is going to be Jennifer Ronziti. Uh, she won in Toronto um, early on in June. Great physique, relatively new to the bikini scene, but if I have to go with a pick, uh, it's going to be her. We had picked the winner. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's uh, good. I'm, see what happens. I'm going with Jennifer for the win in the bikini. Okay, yeah, and Stacy Alexander was awesome. I like the girl from Russia. What was her name? Uh, Volkova. Volkova. Diana Volkova. Diana Volkova was nice. Cara Saunders from Australia. I mean, I didn't see a bad one up there. Jessica no. Renee. Uh, yeah, it was a good bikini lineup. Um, Lacey DeLuca was up there. Um, Paige Habermill looked good. I mean, Very good there was a, there was a lot of really good com bikini competitors. Which now takes us to your division, the men's physique. I don't really know any of the guys. You said you didn't have any stock. No standout guys, but did somebody rise to the top? Were you watching? Uh, the, probably the guy whose name stood out the most of this list, Andre Ferguson, who's okay. done the best consistently out of this group of guys. That's who I, I was thinking was probably going to win. He was in the center of all the callouts, the last guy to be in the center of, the, of your final callout. So probably look for Andre to take the win tonight. All right, we're going to come back here in only about three short hours and get things wrapped up here at the finals of the first ever IFBB Pro Baltimore Championships put on by promoter Boris, who's from Russia. David Bay and I will be here to do the wrap up. Hopefully, we'll have our victor, our, our victor, <laughs> no pun intended. Hopefully we'll have the victor right here in the winner's circle bringing you a live interview. For David Bay, I'm Sean Ray, musculardevelopment.com.